everybody. I'm gonna do something a little bit different um, today. I think I wanna make for each competition that I watched a uh, separate video, so I'll make them a little bit shorter, more succinct. Uh, let's see if I manage on my way to work, because <laughs> it's all usual. And the first one I wanna do is about Serie A, actually, because um, in a way nothing happened and there was so much drama uh, this time around that I think it fully deserves to be uh, featured a lot. It started of course with the big clash Juve Inter, which was the big game I only saw I think the last 10 minutes or so, um, as I was away on the Christmas party. From what I could see in highlights was that uh, Inter had maybe a little bit, at least a better chances in the first half. Uh, most came through Politano. Um, they hit the inside of the post, they had some more chances. Uh, Juve kind of uh, was more on the defensive side, which uh, for the modern Juve is a little bit surprising. Uh, and they couldn't really, you know, when, when there was a move forward, uh, most Juve players stayed back. So. Very interesting. Um, but in the second half, then it was all Juve, and I think it was a, after a cross, Mandzukic scored the goal, and Politano was taken off. There was a good chance that he still assisted, and, and I don't know why he was taken off. Um, surely not for technical reason. I think there might have been something more. Maybe he was gassed. Who knows? But so. Juve holds on to a 1 0 win, uh, typically Juve fashion, and is cruising. Uh, another opponent of the way. Uh, to keep the championship a little bit interesting, meaning stay within 8 points. <laughs> is it 8? Yes, it's 8 points. Uh, Napoli won 4 0 against Frosinone, and then came the drama games. Uh, the next three games in Serie are all featured so much high drama, I uh, cannot imagine. Um, the first one was Cagliari Roma, where Roma got uh, out to a very easy lead in a way. I mean, there was not much coming from Cagliari. Uh, and I, I know that the second uh, goal free kick was uh, hor horribly deflected going, going in the internet, so maybe it could have been only 1 0. But anyway, Roma leads 2-0 at, uh, at Cagliari and you would think, yeah, that's done and dusted. Uh, not quite, not quite, but in the most amazing fashion. Uh, Cagliari puts one back uh, late in the second half and then it really gets uh, absolutely crazy. There is first the uh, Cagliari uh, coach is sent up into the stands for protesting too much. Then there is a foul where uh, a foul given where the Cagliari players are arguing and arguing and arg ar arguing and two are sent off with a red card for arguing and um, insulting the ref. Two players. At that point it's one, two and two players are sent off and they still manage to with two players down in stoppage time. I think it's the 94th Cagliari manages to draw against Roma. Uh, I have to say, when you saw uh, Di Francesco's reaction, uh, he had this smile of disbelief. And what just happened here uh, on his face? Uh, it was absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm gonna go behind this truck here, guys. It's just... Also absolutely so uh, this from Calories point by point of view was the, probably the robbery of the century. Uh, I'm not saying that they didn't deserve it. I saw too little of the game to be honest to make this call. But um, being two men down and still managing the draw <laughs> is yeah. Uh, you gotta feel good as Cagliari, uh, that's for sure. And then uh, the other game, uh, Roman game in the evening, that's one that I, I, I actually watched thanks to Barcelona 
dominating Espanyol so much. Uh, I watched the second half of that one. We'll talk about La Liga in the next video. Uh, but two videos from now. So, the yeah, was Lazio, where Cagliarella put um, them into, into the lead, and the second half, all or the first half already ended with the way, but the second half, chance after chance for Lazio, and Lazio wasting again. It reminded me of, about the Kiowa, Kievo game last week. And uh, Sampdoria was actually uh, dangerous on the counter attack, but it was really Lazio who had a lot of control. And can I say this was one of the best? Jersey matchups. I'm not black against light blue, might not uh, be visually that the feeling, but both jerseys absolutely gorgeous. So, for that reason, I, I really think this was a, was, was a great matchup color wise. Uh, they get the equalizer. Uh, I think it was in the seven, it was around the 80, 80th minute. Lazio got the Eagles just when the um, Commodus said last season um, they also turned the game around late but it is still headed for a draw more or less I mean Lazio had more chances but Sampdoria also had more counter but you know it was definitely more Lazio it was headed for a draw ah I remember now it was actually a very beautiful goal after a corner kick Parolo uh, with the heel makes a pass uh, towards the inside post and that's gonna and that was special. That, that was actually an amazing goal. Watch it if you haven't seen it. So everything's headed for a draw and suddenly there is a free kick that gets touched by the hands of uh, I think Ekko that was. Uh, which the ref didn't give, but then suddenly they say VAR, okay, stop everything, watch the replay, yes, he watched the replay, penalty given, I was deflated, because a draw would have been the ideal result, even a loss to some would have been the ideal result for Milan, uh, so I really didn't want Lazio to win this uh, time around, but yeah, Immobile gets the penalty, 2-1 in the 94th minute, However, the, uh, thanks to the lengthy of our review, the ref adds four minutes on. It was, I think, five minutes and then it was nine minutes. Well, it seemed that Lazio can get it over. And it was in the 99th minute that Sampdoria, out of nowhere, absolutely out of nowhere, uh, they didn't know what they should do. Suddenly someone lobs the ball over, it gets deflected with the head and then... Uh, a karate kick into the net 2-2. I was so happy. This was my result of the weekend. Because that meant that Milan won. Whatever happens, Milan will stay in fourth place. That, 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 that was already important. Absolute uh, jubilation. I was just amazing. So that was high drama. It doesn't end there. Sassuolo Fiorentina. Fiorentina desperately needs to get something going. They have one of the fun spots, but uh, don't have much. Uh, to show for for that and they quickly find themselves 2-0 down to Sassuolo it was all in the second half first half ended 0-0 uh, the 60th and between the 60th and the 70th uh, Sassuolo makes it 2-0 uh, then in the 79th I think or something like that uh, Simeone puts, uh, pulls one back but in the return Sassuolo makes it 3-1 then Sassuolo player gets sent off and Fiorentina makes out of a free kick another uh, crazy, a little bit crazy goal. Both Sassuolo goals, by the way, uh, the goalkeeper didn't say it. There were three, two of the three Sassuolo goals, the goalkeeper of Fiorentina Vera two did not look good. Uh, were distance shots that he should actually save easily. Well, he, uh, Fiorentina gets one back. He, or something like that and then in stoppage time they make it 3-3 right after the sending off again a late goal uh, I saw a little bit about Udine and Atalanta uh, but not too much Atalanta may have had a 3-1 win which was a little bit expected and then I did not see Milan Torino I just watched it on a live ticker 0-0 I 
nil nil. This was the deflating part. If they would have won, they would have been uh, one point behind Inter and had quite some cushion. Yes, Torino is a good uh, team, but still, was a little bit disappointing. So the standings, Juve is ahead of Napoli, 35, Inter 29, Milan 26, Lazio 25, Torino 22, Atalanta, Roma, Sassuolo and Parma all at 21, uh, Sampdoria and um, Fiorentina there with 20 and 19. It was a great Serie A weekend, not everything went right for Milan except Milan's result. Well, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I'm gonna make now the next one on the Premier League.